In this video, I want to take a moment and talk about the products that make up the FileMaker platform. So as to better educate you on what your options are for setting up and deploying FileMaker within your organization. Now, as you start to work out your FileMaker strategy for your organization, you're going to want to carefully pick the correct FileMaker tools to meet the needs of your team. So in this video, we're going to talk about the individual FileMaker products and how they fit together. So first off, we have FileMaker Pro and FileMaker Pro Advanced, and these run both on the Mac OS and on Windows. Now these products form the absolute cornerstone of the FileMaker platform because they provide both client access for the general users as well as access for the developers to actually build or make modifications to the FileMaker solution. Now keep in mind that FileMaker Pro and Pro Advanced provide the most robust database access for heavy duty power users of a FileMaker solution. FileMaker Pro can run plugins, it can print, it can generate PDFs via email, it basically can do everything. And it's important to understand this as we go forward. Now there is a difference between FileMaker Pro and FileMaker Pro Advanced. Pro Advanced is really designed for more of the power users or developers who are actually editing scripts and doing lots of work in layouts, that type of thing. So Pro Advanced has more development based tools in it, like the script debugger or data viewer, that kind of thing. So in most cases, Pro Advanced will be deployed in a limited fashion with those people who are making structural changes to your FileMaker solution. In most organizations, you'll have one, two, or three people who are doing this kind of work. Of course, that depends upon the size of the organization, but you get the idea. If you have 15 or 20 people accessing FileMaker, you'll probably have two or three that are working under the hood from time to time, adding new reports, and doing that kind of thing. Then we have FileMaker Server. FileMaker Server is the dedicated software that's going to host or share your FileMaker database on your local area network or out on the internet. If you have a mission critical FileMaker database, especially one that you're sharing, then FileMaker Server should be considered a critical piece of software to use. Now keep in mind FileMaker Server is going to back up your databases for you automatically. It's also going to allow for the setup of encryption so you can encrypt the traffic back and forth between your users and the FileMaker server. So FileMaker server is an important piece of this. Now for users who are on the iPhone or iPad, the go-to software for those people is called FileMaker Go. Now FileMaker Go is a free download from Apple's App Store. And once again, it runs on modern iPhones or iPads. And it's pretty powerful software. It's been in development for over six years now and has gone through a lot of refinements. It's pretty cool stuff. So we've talked about FileMaker Pro for Mac and Windows. We've talked about FileMaker Go for the iPhones and iPads. And really, that leaves us with one FileMaker client that we haven't talked about, which is called FileMaker WebDirect. Now FileMaker WebDirect provides limited access to any modern computer or mobile device through a web browser. So in reality, what this means is that you're going to have your Android users leveraging a browser through WebDirect, and that gets them access right into your FileMaker solution. Now, FileMaker has been working to improve WebDirect consistently, but it still doesn't have the same capabilities as FileMaker Pro or Go. And specifically, there's no direct access to printing or PDF generation. Now, after you watch this video course, you're going to figure out how to kind of hack and get around this limitation, but it is a legit limitation with FileMaker WebDirect. It's just not as full featured as the other FileMaker clients. But for a lot of users on Android devices, they're not really worried about running around and printing reports off on the closest laser printer. So once again, the capabilities of WebDirect are really focused towards users who have mobile devices, but who cannot really leverage the iPhone or the iPad. So once again, in summary, FileMaker Pro for Mac and Windows computers. FileMaker Server, which is going to host and share our database while protecting it and making backups and allowing for encryption. Then we have FileMaker Go, which is our touch-based client that runs on the iPhone and iPad. Then we have FileMaker WebDirect, which is basically for everyone else who doesn't fall into these two categories. I guess it should also be noted that WebDirect also works pretty well with Chromebooks. And while this is not officially endorsed by FileMaker Incorporated, 
we have tested WebDirect to a good degree and with good success on various Toshiba Chromebooks. So now that you understand that you really have these four products, I want to mention two ancillary capabilities that might be really important to you. One is custom web publishing through FileMaker Server. Custom web publishing is where you can have a PHP page or other type of HTML page that can directly behind the scenes communicate with FileMaker. So if you have a generic web page and you want to have FileMaker provide data to that web page, then you can do that with PHP. Now PHP is a legitimate programming language, so this is definitely on the technical deep end of the pool. Okay, But that does provide great public access for your FileMaker database. WebDirect is a little bit more sketchy for public access via web browser because WebDirect requires very specific versions of browsers to be leveraged and utilized and you can't always guarantee what the public will be using when they access your website. So for the highest speed access and the most robust access for the public accessing your database through a website you're going to want to consider PHP and FileMaker Server. Now one additional ancillary technology that's out there is FIUS and this is FileMaker's iOS app SDK and this basically allows you to take a FileMaker solution that you built with FileMaker Pro and that you have subsequently tested well with FileMaker Go and you know it works great on Go it allows you to take that and compile it and submit that application as a standalone application to Apple's App Store for iPhone and iPad users. So normally if you're going to run a FileMaker solution you have to install FileMaker Pro or go to the App Store and download FileMaker Go for free and you have that on your computer or device before you can access the FileMaker solution. Well if you want to bundle basically FileMaker Go together with a solution and post it to Apple's App Store either the public app store or a private corporate app store for a corporation then the FileMaker iOS app SDK software is the way to go. And we have a completely separate course that covers the ins and outs of FIUS as we refer to it. So just keep in mind that we may make references to it here and there but understand that FIUS is basically FileMaker Go and it's a special version that you could submit to Apple and have them review and if it passes their review it gets posted to the App Store. So really in terms of deployment options we have three standard FileMaker clients. We have PHP which gives us really high performance access to web pages specifically for the public and then we have a variation of FileMaker Go which we can submit to Apple for publication and this is the FileMaker iOS app SDK or the FIUS technology.